Hi and welcome to Mark's Motivational Podcast, another Authors Tuesday episode where this is a solo episode. I'm going to read out another book, another uh, story from my book, I should say, my new book. So, fall to a rush means welcome back and it's great to have you all back again on the podcast, listening to the podcast. So, a big thank you to the Bernard that O'Reilly for coming on the show there last week. We met lawyers in... Um, the Oilac Street Library, so it was great to do a podcast um, with somebody face to face. Um, good experience and really good, good poetry that um, Bernadette has. And thanks a lot for great feedback um, for that podcast. It's great to get your feedback and you're enjoying these podcasts. So thanks a million. So today, a little bit different. What I'm going to do is give you an idea for a prompt, and it'd be great if you could maybe email me back. Um, which are ideas, maybe little stories that you've done. So this um, this prompt I'm going to give you is things I do this side of summer. Things I'll do this side of summer. And I'll also write that in the show notes as well. So if you want to maybe put a prompt um, together for that, a little story together for that would be absolutely great. So without further ado, I'll um, read out this new story. Um, this is a character from the old book, from the first book. Big thank you for anybody who's bought that book, The Adventures of Larry Lampost. Um, great to, and if ever you, any of you do want a, a copy of that book, you can email me and I will organise to get, get one sent to you, or else you can buy it on Amazon, Kindle, um, or Barnes and Noble. Yeah, that would be great. So um, thanks very much again. So this story, without further ado, is a, it's a character from the old book. As I said, Mr. Shopper uh, gets ready to, for his holiday. So here we go. Mr. Shopper and his family hadn't been away for about a year. So they decided to book a little breakaway down the country. He rang the hotel and asked for the biggest room they had. The reception, receptionist asked, why? How many people is it for? I just me, me wife and me children. Three children. Then why do you need such a big room? Well, my wife likes to shop a bit, and we need, we'll need plenty of room for all the stuff. His wife overheard him on the phone. Are you telling telling them I like to shop? I think you have that a little bit wrong. You are the one that buys everything. As she nearly fell over seven suitcases in the hall. The receptionist found this very funny, especially when she heard and she asked his name. Now it all makes sense. How long do you want to want to, how long do you plan to stay? He said three months. She asked what? The children were loving the sounds of this. Then his wife took the phone off him and said, Sorry sorry, my husband gets very excited when he come when it comes to shopping and holidays. I think he meant two weeks. Okay, Mrs. Shopper. And what about the room? Yes, you better give us a big room, just in case. The daughter said to to, to her uh, their daughter said to her mom, joking, two months sounds like much more fun. They all had a bit of fun out of this. I don't think your teacher would see it that way. They had to order three taxis the next day for all the suitcases and the family. They weren't happy either at the train station when they saw the number of bags. The controller asked Mr. Shopper, Why on earth do you need all this stuff? Are you moving away forever? <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm afraid. I will forget something, so I bring everything. He saw a TV sticking out of one of the bags. I can see that. He agreed to let them on first, so they could pack all their stuff away neatly. Mr. Shopper said thanks a million for that. The shoppers had a great, great fun on the train on the way down to Gowie, playing lots of fun games of cards because, as you can imagine, Mr. Shopper had a few packs with him. The younger son was enjoying I Spy games and Yes and No games with his dad. Then the lady came along with the shop on wheels. Mr. Shopper and all his family's eyes lit up. The lady asked Mr. Shopper, Would you like anything? He said, No thanks, only joking. <laughs> His wife, and at this stage, had nodded 
off for a rest. When she woke, she couldn't believe her eyes. There were four cups of coffee, seven bags of crisps, eight sandwiches and seven bars of chocolate. She asked Mr. Shopper, who is all this for? He said, you. The children found it hard to keep a straight face. The poor lady who was serving with the trolley had to go back and refill it because he bought so much. His wife wasn't a bit happy with him. She said, how on earth am I going to eat all this? I thought you looked hungry, sorry. She asked the kids, will any of you eat a bag of crisps and a sambo please? They all said, no, sorry ma'am, we are so full we can't move. She called the lady with the trolley. The lady, she ran away as fast as she could saying, you bought enough, we only have a few things for other people. This made all the people in the carriage have a great bit of laugh about it. Mrs. Shopper uh, said, that's not very nice of the lady to run away with the trolley. Do you want something else, dear? <laughs> she looked at him as if she had, he had ten heads, saying, Are you for real? Do I want anything else? I was trying to call her back to get, re to get a refund and give some of these things back. Mrs. Shopper put the stuff she didn't want into a bag for later. Mr. Shopper said he was sorry. I didn't mean to buy that much. She said, you look like you, you are full of beans. Have you had much coffee? Only seven cups. <laughs> she thought, that's actually good for him. He would normally have about ten by now. I wanted more, but the lady with the trolley wouldn't come back for some reason. They got to Galway about an hour later, and the kids were super excited for their holidays. When they got off the train, at the train station, it was the same problem again. They had to wait for a few taxis to bring them to their hotel. The kids were getting a bit tired and bored, waiting, waiting, waiting. But after a while, they got their taxis to their to their to their hotel. When the hotel receptionist saw the number of suitcases being wheeled in, she asked, "How many people are in the group?" Mister Shopper answered, four of us." She then she then said, smiling, "I remember you guys. You're the shoppers." Yes, said Mr. Shopper. The name suits us. You have it right. You have that right. You were lucky we kept you a big room. By the time they got all their suitcases stuff away, put away, the kids were getting hungry. So they booked some food in the restaurant. Mrs. Shopper said, please don't order too much. I won't. I promise. The end. <laughs> yeah, so that's... um. That's the story for today about Mr. Shopper, his adventures. So um, I hope you liked that story. Uh, big thank you again for everybody listening. And um, again, if you want to uh, work off that prompt and send through the stories. And um, if you like, I'll read one or two of them out uh, the next time you want to send me them. So uh, next week, we'll have another guest on the podcast. And thanks for joining me. It's long and fall. Goodbye.
Hello everyone, Mark here. Thank you for watching another episode of my Authors Tuesday podcast. I recently published a book of children's stories called The Adventures of Larry Lampos and Friends. The book began life as bedtime stories I wrote for my own children. If you'd like to purchase my book, follow the link in the description box below. By buying my book, you are also supporting my podcast series for authors, which is giving a voice to writers in Ireland and across the world. Thank you.